Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Yep, yes, yes, sorry. It has been a while that I haven't uploaded a video on my gaming channel because I had like a lot of stuff to do in my life, especially the job I have and as well doing mods for my main channel. So uh, yeah, I'm actually really sorry for it. I'm here again to play Penlight. The last time we played was we actually turned to uh, into a zombie. It was actually kind of weird, but uh, you know what? Let's start playing this before I get confused. <laughs> okay, so we were here. So we turned her into a zombie because we hypnotized her so good that we actually turned her to a zombie. Um, it was kind of weird, but anyway, let's continue. Um, yesterday was interesting to say the least. Not to me and I didn't contact each other overnight and I'm... Here it comes again. I can't speak. <laughs> I'm anxious to see her again. God, I hope she made it home safe. As I'm making it... It's a bit... To be bit there. Yes, I, I can't speak. As I make it to the school entrance, I'm will feel... I'm will leave to see Notsumi standing by the gates. I approach and I'm about to greet her when I realize she's taking talking to someone. No fing way. Oh damn I forgot I can't say Christian channel. No docking way. Yeah. Not me rises a hand to me out into the back of it, then continues as I strain myself to hear her. It's embarrassing, but I somehow tripped over my own feet and down the stairs I went. That's some serious bros you got. Sis, don't that hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all, like, that that purple thing she has on her face. It's just a, a drawing she did, you know? Like, this. of course she got hit. Of course she literally fell down, you dumb. Yes, a little bit. I wasn't too badly hurt, but I could have done without having to get my glasses fixed on top of everything else. I don't have a spare spare pair or contacts and I barely got a wink of sleep, so class is going to be so much fun today. Not so. What? Come here! Oh my god, they, they're giving hugs each other, no way, cute, kawaii. Here we go, what are you doing? You're gonna have a great day, you hear me, Noto? Y yes we heard you alright. But gosh, I don't think you've hugged me since we were in junior high. Oh yeah, this is like when you cut your knee while we were on that field trip. <laughs> yeah. Kiahaha, <laughs> you used to be just a clutch back then. Once again, here we go, we are heard you loud and clear. Yeah, haha, sorry, I was thinking about how we used to hug it out like this all the time. Till high school happened anyway. Yes, because we're not little kids anymore. But thanks, here you go, for caring. As not so decent the Glees herself from here goes in Brits. She squints towards me. Seeming to notice me standing there for the first time before quickly averting her gauge. Anyway, let's head on in. As I follow behind them, I sent a text to Notsumi asking how she's doing. I know we can't let this fester between us for too long. I hope she realizes that as well. Why the hell that scared me? <laughs> but I don't get anything back, not a text, not even an ag my god acknowledging stare of day. I may as well have not existed to her. As I get back home and throw my school bag down by, by my bed, I wonder if I should text her again. Huh, that was the doorbell just now. Could that be her? I don't know, maybe. Yep, yeah, she. Hey, hey. Natsumi drops her shoes by the door and sighs. Then turns and hugs me. Sorry, I didn't respond earlier. I I kinda got wrapped up in my thoughts today. Ooh. 
I'm too stunned to respond as she holds me tight. Wow, what a feeling. Oh, yeah, yeah sure. Two hours so close to me, her chest against mine as a single hand touches my back to keep my to keep me close. Oh, I, sh I should put my arms around her too, right? Right. But this as I'm about to, Natsumi lets me go before walking over to the living room couch to take a seat. It was nice while it lasted. I can stay for very long, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, of course. But I was thinking over and over about what happened. I've barely been able to put it out of my head. Yeah, how are you holding up anyway? Uh, you know, not great. She says as she turns her head to look towards the television, staring wishfully into the screen with unfocused eyes. This one moment I was falling asleep on your couch, the next I was waking up outside your house with cuts and bruises all over. It wasn't until I told my parents that I fell over on the way back from school that it, that it really started to sink in. What happened could have been so much worse and, and I'm sorry, but I have to think it's all your fault. My chest times all her was hip. <laughs> I mean, it, it is your fault, MC. You kinda did this. You turned her to a zombie. So, uh, yeah, that that happened. <laughs> that just happened. My chest uh, Titus as her words hit unpleasantly, and I'm finding her hard to concentrate when she looks at me like that. What? What? What did? What do you mean? Nosmi impenitently holds up her chip looking smartphone and waggles it at me. Kiyu, I went over what you told me while I was in trance yesterday. You said I was supposed to become exactly what I believe a zombie to be when you told me the trigger phrase. Oh yeah, that, that is true. Oh my god, this hap this is what happens if you don't record pen line for like 3 months. I completely forgot about it. <laughs> That's so open-ended. Yeah, but... Maybe I could've been more specific, but I had my reasons for f phrasing it that way. You weren't sure about the whole thing, so I thought, well, you should decide how you wanted to be a zombie in front of me. But that's not what you said. You told me to be a zombie just like I think they are. And zombies are scary. They they creatures of the night that simmer around and eat the flesh of your bones while ranting about brains. They're mindless, evil monsters, and when, when you said the magic word, that's what I was supposed to be. Yeah, I really didn't think you'd take that far after you were so nervous about it before. But I did, and you didn't stop me. You usually, usually let me run around with that dangerous stuff in my head. Not to me, I tried to stop you and you weren't listening. And hypnotized or not, you didn't have to do anything you didn't want to. You, you're not that right. Oh dang, this is... Kiyu, I think not to me doesn't, doesn't want to be with you anymore. I don't know, I, I have a feeling. I have a feeling that what happened. Not to me, it's not. When someone is under the influence of hypnosis, their hypnotist has a responsibility to keep them safe. I was in your care, under the post-hypnotic session that you planted and, and it really could've been so much worse. You know what? You know, you know that, right? <laughs> I spelled you know what? Okay, good, Marco. Not to me. Gosh, if I had fallen differently down your stairs, I could've been... Yeah, I've tried not to think about that time was leading not to me out of the house. I gotta admit, when the way she was behaving, she was looking to get out of there with just a few bruises and a broken pair of glasses. Even if she doesn't remember it happening, or maybe because she doesn't remember, I guess she can't help but imagine what could've happened. But that still raises the question. How did this even happen? 
even if my hypnotic suggestion to you was so dangerous, there's so many things that should've snapped you back to reality. My kicking you, the head you took when I opened my bedroom door on you, the falling down the stairs, all of those things should've made maintaining a state of post-hypnotic trance impossible. Nosumi holds her arms around her stomach as she forms in thought. Oh, you're right, that should be impossible, but wait, you kicked me? Uh, you had me on the floor and you were trying to bite me, bite my face and I shouted you to wake up and you didn't. I, I had to do something. I, what? Nosumi sighs as he drops her gaze despondently. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would, that would be kind of embarrassing if I was biting someone, not even on the sink. Oh, I thought it would be so embarrassing. The more I find, find out about what happened last night, the more scared I get. But the fact in, is, whatever you did, it convinced me to hold myself to your ridiculous hy hypnotic suggestion to no matter what happened. It's crazy, I mean, out of all the hypnosis videos I've seen, or when Shatoshi hypnotized me, nothing has come close to what I've experienced with you. What's so widely different about how you hypnotized me, the only answer I have... She fronts her, she pulls out a pen line that was hidden inside the sleeve of the, her blazer. Is this? Wait a sec. How the hell did you get that? You, you keep your pen light in your right pants pocket. I've seen you win it in a couple of times now, and it wasn't hard. Anyway, I've lied to ed everyone I care about since last night. I may as well be a thief too. I groan as a realization of how she got hold of it hits me. Then I feel anxiety well ins inside me as that realization is immediately followed up with another realization. Not to me. Don't do anything rash, okay? Did you just raise an eyebrow at me? I wonder what rash thing you expect me to do in this, Kyu. Well, well, as the rush are shining, there's attention grabbing light over your eyes. There's a soft click as not to me presses their thumb into the pen light, illuminating the Cushion beside her. Maybe say a few words while I'm doing it. Come on, that's enough. Give it back. Why, Q? Does me having to make you nervous? Nervous enough that you'd wrestle me for it? Y you know what? Hyp hypnotize this guy. This guy made you feel like a zombie. And, well, it was supposed to be a zombie because he told to be like a zombie. Wait, was he? Did he? I'm so confused. I didn't play pen life for freaking three months. My brain is not breaking. Why can you? Oh okay, yeah, I already read it. Crap, was I really about it too? It's not really that big a deal if I hold on to it, is it? But it's my pen light. I worked hard on that thing. Not to me size at me in the irritation. In irritation, I think it's spell that. I just want to borrow it if it for a while, you big baby. And now it's my turn to sigh. First, she steals my pen light. Now she demands I let her leave with it. This is making me very uneasy. What were you even doing with it anyway? Do you even know how to work that thing? Well, do you? I'm about to answer, but all I manage is a low, flustered growl. She's gonna be holding last last night against me for a while, huh? Yeah, so either you let me take this or we're two doing hypnosis together. Aw, oh, come on, you can't be serious. Not to me, sis holds my pen light up in her hand in front of me with a glare. What's it going to be, Kyo? I don't like this one bit. Letting her take my pen light home with her seems like a terrible idea, but. Obviously, not going to convince her otherwise. And if I lose Notsumi over this, there's no way I'll be able to live with myself. Alright, take it. 
Satisfied, Natsumi slides my pen line into her bag before rising up from the couch. I'll talk to you later, Kyo. Yeah. I see Natsumi out and I head up to my room to think on what has happened. Honestly, I don't know what to, to make of it. Like, I was afraid she'd want nothing to do with me after last night's disaster. Maybe I should be happy she's still talking to me, but the way she forced me into giving her my pen line is leaving a bad taste in my mouth. Just what is going on with her? I don't know, I'm just gonna say, maybe she's planning on something. I have a bad feeling. It's Friday and I'm walking to school feeling empty. I said I sent notes to me a few tasks last night to check on her, but she didn't respond. Oh god. Oh no. Lunch time! <laughs> it's that time again, huh? In fact, following our talk last night, Natsumi seems to have committed herself to pretending I don't exist again. Maybe I can catch some while I'm up there today? Just chatting away to her friend, friends like nothing happened? And there's me, the idiot thinking this was going to go down in any other way. I always thought Natsumi was as kind kind as she is beautiful, someone who'd never go out of their way to hurt anyone. She may be a little freaked out that she went along with the zombie thing so easily, but how is she okay with blacking me like this? Will she even give my pen light back? I mean, what's to stop her from keeping it out? So you guys just pretend she doesn't know what I'm talking about? What could I do about that? Damn. I spend so much of my life working to please her, just so she'll give me a chance. And I just assumed some somewhere along the way that she was worth, worth all of this. But what if Natsumi is no better than the rest of them? I land under my desk in silence as I try to think things through. Natsumi is probably wrapped up in her thoughts again, she'll talk to me when she's ready to talk just like the last time. But that was a rose of her to pickpocket my pen light, wasn't it? Damn, I hate that I can't trust her anymore. Huh, my phone is buzzed. She's, she's just sending a text. Talk tomorrow, okay? Well. This is acknowledging that she can't just ignore me, but I don't know. It's been all night and day, and this is all she has to say to me right now. I never thought I'd see, I'd say this, not to me, but you're kind of pissing me off. Damn, no way. He's, his crush. Oh my God, his crush is pissing his off, pissing him, him off. No way. That's so rare. Tomorrow when? Tomorrow morning. Okay, come over whenever you want. No. No? What does he mean no? Does he not want to meet face to face? Ah, oh, Hell this. Give my pen line back. Tomorrow. How the hell is she going to give it back if she would? Let's talk at my house. What? A couple people turned their heads at the unexpected sound of my voice and I just lowered my head and pretend I didn't say anything. But man, is she really going to tell me where she lives? I thought she wanted to keep all this hypnosis stuff to my place. This is unexpected. <laughs> the rest of the day passed uncom uncomfortably. <laughs> Mia yeah, spelled that correctly, Marco. Not me went back to ignoring me when she returned from from lunch. Mm. But now that, sc that school's out, she sends me a text with her address while I'm on my way home. So she really is a series about this, huh? I look up the address she gave me online, see what kind of life she lives at home. Huh. This is a pretty well-to-do area, not too different from where I live, actually. But Natsumi never seemed very rich to me, I don't know, maybe she just didn't want to fl flirt it. 
or maybe this is an extra address. No, 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 I can't deal with that. Not to me, wouldn't lie about something like this. Sorry, guys, I'm actually very focusing <laughs> on this right now. I'm just like focusing reading this instead of interchange you guys. Sorry, I'm um, damn. It's like literally 4 a.m. I'm recording this at 4 a.m. But man, what do I know? Do I really know Natsumi at all? Do you? I don't know. Do you? When the morning comes, I find myself wa walking on the brisk pa pace. Okay, this is a different song. Natsumi texted me again last night, insisting I stop by late in the morning. So here I am, rolling up at this unfamiliar street at 10 on o'clock and all of a sudden I stop dead in my tracks. There's that feeling again, what if this witty really isn't her house? I don't want to knock on some stranger's door and get into that kind of situation. Uh, I'll be honest guys, uh, uh, okay, <laughs> this, is, this is like a, a small story. So um, I remember when I was trying to find my friend, um, like house for the first time by the way his name is Rodrigo um, it was very <laughs> it was very awkward because I had to like knock one of like I don't know strangers to see which one was right and oh my god it was so weird they were taking like no they were like no sorry I, it was like four four houses actually I knocked two, and it was wrong. So the fifth one was right, and oh my god, it was so embarrassing. You, <laughs> as a person who has social anxiety, this is so bad. <laughs> this is literally so bad. It doesn't look like I have so social anxiety because I'm literally, an, I don't know. I I feel so uncomfortable uh, talking to the you know. To the camera. I mean, actually, I'm not even using a camera. What are you talking about, Marco? But yeah, is this? I don't know. If I feel so uncomfortable just recording this to you guys, because yeah, I think I'm actually very used to it. So no wonder. But anyway, let's continue the story. But I don't want to back out either. Damn it! If not to me, it wasn't being so safety. I'd never be doubting her like this. Kiyo, that is you, isn't it? Just then, I realized the door is the distance has pulled open, revealing a familiar figure squinting at me from inside. N not me. So she so really did meet for us to m to meet. That's reassuring, at least. Are you sh are you just going to stand there, or do you want to come in? Okay, Tsunere, chill. Stepping inside the space, spacious looking house, I put my shoes off while Natsumi watches me and and that's yeah, an extra shoot list. <laughs> okay, I can't speak. In the meantime, we are joined by oh, who, who, who is that? Is that, wait, is that Natsumi's, Natsumi's mother? Not gonna lie, she's looking kind of ugly. <laughs> Oh my god. In the meantime, we joined by someone else who I can only assume is the Nats Natsumi's mother. Welcome, Kyu. Nats Natsumi told me we'd be having a company today. This looks to be someone who doesn't get an access a lot. N nice to meet you. Mr. Akami, I'm about to say before she happily introduced herself. So her name is Atsuko, huh? Okay. Let's go. It's a pleasure. I believe I believe you've met my daughter. Not to me rolls her eyes. <sighs> Come on, mother. Don't do 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 not don't do me like that. Yes, mom. Yes, mom. Q's classmate of mine. Ah, uh, that's wonderful. It's nice to see who <coughs> <coughs> Damn, I'm about to die over here. 
It's nice to see who else you spend time with, not to me. Anyway, make yourself at home, dear. Asuka smiles and I smile politely back. Thanks. It feels weird to think out of the two of them that she seems happier to see me here than her daughter. I guess it's awkward that I'm meeting Natsumi like this, but still. So, so like I was telling you, mom, Q's here to help me with a class project and we have a lot of ground to cover, you know? Oh, of course, don't, don't let me keep you. Taking my pen line to play when, uh, when is a class project, huh? Just promise me you'll behave yourself while I go food shopping. Of course, we'll behave ourselves. I have a bad feeling about this, I don't know. Are they going to hypnotize her again? And then the, the mother comes in and then she... She going to be shot like, oh my god, no way, I'm going to call the cops. I don't think that's going to be... I think that's going to be the situation that's going to happen in this right now. Nosumi scoffs her mother, talks to herself and makes her ready to leave. Let's go, Kiyo. And with that, Nosumi ensures me upstairs. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm keep coughing, Jesus. I have I think I've I have something on my throat. Leading me to This is your room? Nosumi lets all the little snores as she pulls at the door to close behind her. Yeah, yeah, don't touch me. My eyes can't help but give her room a true looking over. There's stuff everywhere. Like, where to begin? If it's not clothes dumped on the floor, it's piles of cardboard boxes, board games. Yeah, I know. Wow, there's a ton of board games here from Sybil. <coughs> <coughs> Can you stop coughing, Marco? From simple card games to some really obscure looking advanced stuff. It's not what I expected from a girl's bedroom, that's for sure. Anyway, I've had more important things to worry about, like... I do see how to board game, game nights, but I had no idea what she was this serious about it. Er, Q. Oh, uh, yeah, more important things. I got so caught up in the experience of being in Natsumi's bedroom that I forgot for a moment why I'm even here. But to get to the point, Natsumi pulls open her desk, journal and with some seeming look tinge, takes out of a familiar object. That's it, alright. My pen line doesn't look any different to all the others of its kind, but she couldn't have found a copy of that exact mo model so quickly. That I even consider she could be deceiving me sure is a depressing thing to think about. You said you made this, right? I thought at her and nod. Yeah, well, it's an off-the-shelf medical pen light that I modified a little. Right, so, um... I may still be annoyed about where she pulled the other day, but I can't deny I'm also really interested. Inter <coughs> Why can't I stop coughing? Jesus. Interested to hear what she did with my pen line while she's had it. What is it? Natsumi looks anxiously at the pen line in her, ha her head as she begins to answer. Okay, so when I got back home, I was starting to feel silly for making such a big deal about this thing. But after dinner, I locked myself in this room and I. I switched it out, it switched it on, and I, well, <sighs> you tried shining the light in your own eyes, mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> okay guys, I, I may, I think I'm sick, damn it, I mean, what else was she going to do with it? Oh damn, okay, that's an, that's a different CG. Just then, Natsumi falls back on her bed and holds the pen light up in front of her. I laid down and held it at arm's length like this. I was trying to shine it back and fold over my face, just like you did. 
But as soon as the light hit my eyes, I felt instantly drawn to it, just like before. After that, it was almost automatic. Automatic. I can't spell. I kept moving the light over my eyes, feeling kind of relaxed about the whole thing. <laughs> so I kept doing it, and I think at some point, the light must have switched off in my own head. Oh god, I have a feeling the coughing thing is coming back. <coughs> there we go. Because the next thing I remember, I was crying out after I dropped the pen light on my face. You dropped it on your face? Th th that's what I said. Anyway, after what I pulled your pen light in my desk, draw it, and I didn't dare use it again. I mean, I proved what I wanted to prove anyway. And what was that? She sighs and holds the pen light up to her face again. I managed to deeply hypnotize myself with barely any effort at all, without you or anyone else guiding me. Is this, this pen light? But what would have? Eh. <coughs> but what would have happened if I heard someone talking, talking while I was pacing out like that? May have taken their words into my subconscious and act, act on them? Or what if I left TV on? I could have woke up uh, and gone right outside to buy some of that limited edition French toast flavored ice cream they've been pushing lately. Yeah, that would have been awful. <laughs> what would have happened if I didn't stop the pen light on my face. I could have been stuck in a trance until someone broke into my room and woke me up. Oh, come on, not to me, you know that. Not to me frowns at me, and at the same time, I stop what I'm saying. Impossible. Except me, no, it's not. Not after what's been happening to me. The night of the dead change everything. Is that what we calling it now? Call it whatever you want, but you know, I'm not this thing about how dangerous hypnosis is. I swear, I can't stop coughing. <coughs> this side really is the reason your hypno hypnosis works so well on me. It's the reason I stayed up like a zombie no matter how much pain I was in. It has to be. If I wasn't for the other night, I would've thought Natsumi was letting her imagination get the better of her. But I have to believe that Natsumi really is ex experienced a deep form of hypnotics suggestively that I hadn't thought possible. And that my pen light was what about it what brought it about? I just I just don't understand how you made something like this. It begs the question though. If you really sus suspected it was so dangerous, why did you take it to use on yourself? Because I could hardly believe what just happened. I need the proof. And I could trust your opinion. I thought you had to be hiding something from me. You don't trust me? Yeah, don't trust this guy. Don't trust this Kyu. No one should trust this M M MC, whatever it's called. I didn't. She sighs. You have to understand I hardly know you, and you show up and just casually mention the hypnosis like you wouldn't think it pick my interest. Interest. And more than that, you have this strange light that affects me as much as this, and it's just... You made it yourself. You had to know what it was capable, capable of. I made it to help catch people's attention, I didn't think it would work as well as this. Yeah, after I thought about it some more, I had to wonder how much you really knew. And I realized, if you actually knew what this thing could do, a lot of things would be different. Actually, I'm just going to uh, take a screenshot of this. Uh, wrong button. <laughs> Can I just like... Alright, I took a picture, there we go. <laughs> Continue. In order as if you actually know that this thing could do, a lot of things would be different. <coughs> I 
Oh my god. You'd have let me leave with your pen line. If you knew how powerful it was, no matter how many ultim ultimatums I gave. So I'm sorry Kiyu, I was scared, but I should have been more honest about my feelings and what my intentions were. I know it. I'm not really that mad at her anymore. Not I've heard her. I've heard her out. But still, it does leave us in a weird place. What do we do now? Well, I was thinking... Oh god, just then, there's an obnoxious knocking on the bedroom door. Not me, Kiyu? Is it safe to come in? Uh, oh god. Natsumi looks at me and puts a finger onto her lips as she hopes of her bed. She then... Eh, she then... Horrid lady? How, how do you spell that word, Jesus? Stove the pen light back in her desk. <coughs> Jar before sliding it sh and shut and looking at... Looking, looking to the door. Sure, come in. Okay, so I have to end the the video right here because I keep coughing. I can't make a video without me coughing. Well, I mean, I can't make a video um, without stopping coughing. So, uh, yeah. Thank you uh, guys for uh, watching this video. Uh, we'll see what will happen in the next episode I guess uh, yeah thank you guys for watching this video uh, make sure to you know subscribe like I don't know do what you like and uh, yeah I hope I'll, I'll uh, I hope I like upload more stuff in my gaming channel because I had like very hard time to do it because a lot of stuff happened in, in real life so yeah I was also kind of burned down so I think that's me I think that's I think that's the reason actually but anyway thank you guys for uh oh, wait i already said that twice so uh, yeah see you guys in the next one bye bye